So I had had a couple questions on what kind of makeup products that I use. Um, so I had just gotten my bag back from my Aunt Dana. I left it in her car and when we went to my mom's birthday. So I thought I would kind of show you guys what I use and what I do. Um, but let's see. First of all, I'm a huge fan of Bare Minerals. So uh, this is the medium beige. I don't know if you can see that. But I love this stuff. It's really, really good and it really, like, if you don't have a clear complexion, it really helps with that. And if you do, it's super light and, you know, it's just awesome. I love it. So I use that. And then I go over the highlighted spots like nose and the your T area and then my cheekbones and then right here um, with a bronzer. And then I use this. It is... Uh, luminous skin powder I forget skin lights or something like that I forget who makes this um, but I really really like it and it's super shimmery I don't know if I can show you guys you see that but anyway so I do that on the T and then the bones and then here um, and it really just makes you like look like you're glowing. I love it. And I get a lot of compliments on it. Everybody's like, oh my gosh, your skin's glowing. That would be why. <laughs> um, let's see. So then after I do that, I put blush on and I honestly just use regular CoverGirl um, blush, not a big deal. And then I have like a gazillion and one, even more than this, this is just what I can hold, of different um, eyeshadows. Sorry, I'm like drawing a blank on everything today. Uh, eyeshadows. So um, I just pick one of those and do a medium all over color and then um, here right in the crease I do a darker and then I do a darker on the inside the outside right there and then I do a light here and up here and then I do my mascara and then I go over the dark again so <laughs> I feel weird doing this <laughs> um so that's that oh here's the bronzer I use actually I use a different bronzer now but it must be in my purse still but here's another one that I Get. it's just from CoverGirl and the other one I like better but oh well um and then um line exact from CoverGirl is what I use for my eyeliner and I love it it's a felt tip brush and it really goes on nicely I have a few different types of um, mascara that I use. Um, I'm always looking for new mascara. It just seems like um, they're always coming out with new stuff, so I'm always wanting to try the newest stuff. So, and this is just professional super thick lash. That's what I have on right now. So, <laughs> um, and then. Of course, I use like a ton of different lip glosses and, you know, I don't really wear lipstick, but lip gloss is my thing. Uh, this is New York and Company uh, Lip Enlarge. It's Limp Plumper. I, I have smaller lips, so um, I really, really like this. And the color is wonderful. I don't know if it... I don't see the color on here. Hmm. But, yeah, it's really good stuff. And it looks like this. So. And I have all kinds of different brushes that I use. Some of them I got from MAC. Other ones I just bought at like Target or Walmart. Um, oh, one thing I forgot to mention that I do use. I got this from MAC. Um, I don't really buy from them much. It's too expensive. Um, but it's the MAC Prep and I. And I've used a ton of it, if you can see that. But you, this is a light, but you 
dab your finger on it and then you put it up here on your eyelid and then right here and it hides dark circles but it also helps keep your um, eye makeup in place because if you know throughout the day or if you're like going shopping or um, you know doing family pictures or whatever you're you feel like you're constantly trying to put makeup on and um, to keep it you know fresh looking and new and stuff and I found that that stuff really helps so um I think that's all that's about all I do um yes my hair is naturally curly um and I like it sometimes other times I don't I straighten my hair most of the time and but you know I wanted to start wearing it curly a little bit more but it was just so flat up here so I hope that this this helps you know I'll have to take some pictures before you know the show you the before and then the after and see what you guys think um but I may go cut it off more I really haven't decided I'll have to get out some pictures and um, of what it looked like when I was in high school I used to have super short hair we're talking like pixie short um bright platinum blonde and you know I loved it I wore it for probably 13 years um and then I started growing it out and this is my natural hair color I have not colored my hair in four years five years so um this is completely natural hair color um I don't even know what you would call it it's kind of it's got red in it but it's like a brownish blonde type um so it's easier just for me to keep it the natural color without having to mess with it so especially being a new mom you really don't have time to um, mess with your hair very much and 90 percent of the time i wear my hair up because it's just grand just woo, woo, woo. he's like a little monkey <laughs> so um let's see what else i don't go to the tanning bed i used to um it is just so bad for you and i really you know just don't do it so you know every once in a while would be great I think but I really just haven't even had time to even consider going there so but well I think that is it I'm at nine minutes 20 seconds so um I guess have a wonderful Valentine's Day with your sweeties and I will talk to you later bye hey you guys it's Ashley again and I just thought you know if you guys have any tips, you know, makeup tips or anything you'd like to share, I'd love to see them. Maybe do a video and, um, you know, show your technique or whatever. Um, and we'll just go from there. But I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.